Okay, recording has started. This, so this is chapter four, section five. Let's take a quick look at this here. Um, group one erase points, group two erase points. Okay, um, so it says a farmer has a square field that is one mile by one mile long and the irrigation system can water um, the northern 0.5 mile of her field. That's half the field. And it says if her tomatoes are planted in a strip that's a third of a mile wide, what is the area of the watered tomatoes? So um, in your books, you could probably see a little bit better than on your screen here because it's pretty small, what they've done here. And so they've, um, they've got a, a, a graph here that is group five or waste points that is um, 10 by 10. And then they shaded um, the, the third of a mile in red, and then they shaded the half of the mile in, in blue. And then where they overlap is the answer. And then they, you could just simply count the number of squares in the graph. And the answer would be um, 15. But there's two decimal places. So here's, here's the problem, really, that we're doing. It's, it's um, 0.3, and you could put 0 0.3 if you wanted, times 0.5. Well, I can look at that as just simply 3 times 5. What is 3 times 5? 15. But there's two decimal places. There's 1 and 2. So I need to move the decimal two places over. So it's going to be 0.15. All right, so let's look at the convince me and see if that's something I want you guys to do. Um, no, I'm not going to worry about that. You guys can cross that out. Okay. Let's go down a little bit further here to the top of the guided practice. So it says write a multiplication equation to match the model. Okay. So... Um, They've got two grids here, and, and they've got a lot of it is blue. And they don't really, you can't really tell, but this, this is all blue right here between the two grids. And since it's two grids, you know that there's one that's completely full. That would be all blue. And then, and then this part here is the second grid. And so that would be 1.8, if you were to count it. Be 180 squares that are blue. And then times 0.2. Um, which would be this right here. And if you were to multiply those together, you'd get 0.36. Not worried about number two. Um, in three and four, it says shade the hundredths grids to find the product. So let's look at number three, and I'm going to make that a little bit larger, and I'll put it up here. Let me cut that out and copy it, and then I'm going to do uh, the one just below that also, number five. So copy, and this is what they want you to do, and you'll probably need maybe some colored pencils to do it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to shade, let's see if I have a, is this blue? Yeah, that's blue, undo. So I'm going to shade the 0.7 in blue. So I need to shade 7 tenths of this. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'm shading all that in blue. 
and I don't know if it shows up on the white screen as blue. It does kind of, okay. And then I'm going to shade, um, I'll shade the 0.8 in yellow. All right, but I'm going to go a different direction. I'm going to go this way. So I'm going to count up eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And it yeah, it kind of kind of works. You can see that where they overlap would be in this area right here. Equals what's 8 times 7? 56. Of course, if you know your times tables, it's pretty easy. How many decimal places? One, two. Yeah, there's two decimal places. There's one, there's two. One, two, the decimal goes right there. What you would notice is that if you took the 56 and counted how many were in those green squares, there'd be 56. Yep. Okay. Let's look at number five. All right, number five. It says 0.4 times 0.5. So I'm going to do 0.4 in purple. And so I'm going to count over 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, and then 0.5, um, I'll do that in red or pink or whatever color that is. So I'm going to do half of them in that color. I'm going to go a different direction here. So one, two, three, four, is that five? I think it is, yep. One, two, three, four, five, yep. Okay. So, if we look carefully, where they've overlapped would be this area right here. What's 4 times 5? How many decimal places? How many squares do you think? are in that overlap area. 20. Okay. And if you think about it, if this whole thing is 100, and it is, if 20 of them are, sh are colored, then it would be 0.2 or 0 0.20. So, that's what they want you to do in three through, how many we got here? Three through eight. And then the ones down below, nine through 16, just solve. But let's do a couple of those together here. Um, let me look at, how about number, um, number 16? All right, number 16. We have 2.8 times uh, 0 0.3. So I'm just going to set this up as 2.8 times, and I'm just going to put 0.3. I don't need to even worry about the 0. All right, 3 times 8 is what? 24. Put down the 4, carry the 2. 3 times 2 is? Six plus two more is eight. Now, how many decimal places do you see? One, two. So the decimal goes one, two, right there in front of the eight. 
you just count from the very beginning of the number one two so the answer to what number was that 16, 16 is 0.84 questions on any of those anybody okay um, number eight let me just show you this really quick we have two grids and one of them is shaded 1.2 so you're going to shade and maybe I should just make it larger so you can see what I'm saying and I won't do the whole thing but I just want to show you what you would do let me cut this out and make it bigger copy Okay, so um, there's two grids there. So if I have to shade 1.2, that means I'm going to shade one whole grid. Okay, I'm going to shade the whole grid. And then what? 0 0.2 of another. So I'm going to move over two more. So that's 1.2. If it was 1.8, I would have gone 8 over in the second one. If it was 1.1, I would have just gone over 1. Okay? All right. Um, there we go. All right, let's look at the next page here. How are we doing on time? 11 minutes? That's not bad. Almost 12. Let's look at the problem solving here. Um, write a multiplication equation to represent this decimal model. So I, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking um, this would be 1 and then this area would be another. And I'll let you guys figure that out. Number 18, explain why 3.4 and 0.5 have only one decimal place in the product. Because there's two decimal places. But it only has one. I'll give you a clue. Think about what it ends with. Think about what it ends with. In other words, if I wrote down 0 0.230 and I wrote down 0.23, is there a difference? Are they the same value? Yes. Yeah. Same thing. Same thing. So that's the key to number 18 there. Just think about what it ends with. Okay. Number 19, Jack's bookshelf has six shelves. Each shelf can hold 12 books. He already has placed 54 books on the shelves. How many more can it hold? Well, 12 times six. What's left over? You guys can do that one. Number 20, write a number that has a six in the thousands place. A f oh, I like this one. A five in the hundredths place and a zero in the tenths. There's that THS ending. We're talking about a decimal here. THS. That's going to be in a decimal. And then, then write a number less than your number and a number greater than your number. Okay, so there's three things you got to do. You got to write down three numbers for number 20. 21, if you multiply two decimals less than one, can you predict whether the product will be less than or greater than either of the factors? Explain. Ooh, well, let's see if anybody can come up with that one. I'm going to let you guys think about that one. Remember, if you multiply any number, let's say I multiply um, Z times 0.9, the answer is going to be less than Z because it's less than 1, what I'm multiplying it by. Remember that. And then... If I multiply z times a number that's greater than 1, let's say 1.5, okay, the answer will be greater than z because any time you multiply something by a number greater than 1, then it's going to be a little bit larger. 22, Judy claims that you can find 0.5 times 2.4 by dividing... 2.4 into two equal parts. Is she correct? 
Um, and the answer is yes. Because 0.5 is the same as half of something. And it says, draw a decimal model to explain your answer. A decimal model to explain your answer. Uh, what do they mean? I guess they're talking about those grids. Um, so you kind of would need to draw your own grid, I guess. Um, and you guys can do that. You would just draw two grids. Here's one. You don't have to fill in all the squares. Here's another one. Okay. And then you're going to fill out half of one of the grids and 2.4. Uh, actually, that'd be three grids. Interesting. I wonder if they, yeah. That actually would be three grids. You would need three. Okay, because here is, if I was to shade 2.4, it might look like this. I'm going to do 2, right? And then 0.4 of a third one, which is not quite half, but close. And then I'm going to shade half of 1, 0.5. All right, we'll see what you guys come up with there. And find two numbers that you can multiply to get a product of 0.54 write the numbers in the box so they're giving you some numbers to choose from these numbers right here you can choose from those to get a product an answer of 0.54 okay I'm going to end the video here Bye. Bye.